How's it going everyone? Domadeus Gaming back with another video and today we have a rank up and gameplay video coming at you. I haven't done one of these in so long but I'm so excited. If you have not seen our latest opening I'm going to spoil it for you right now. It is time to take 5 star apocalypse all the way up from rank 1 to rank 5. So without further ado let's get this guy leveled up and uh, I think we just have about enough I so take this guy up all the way in one shot to rank 5, level 65. And there you go, look at that. Nice. We uh, definitely didn't need to use any other ISO or open any other crystals. Uh, no, we actually did. We were <laughs> very low on the mutant ISO after ranking up some 6 stars. But there he is in all of his glory. We don't have an awakening gem for him, but I am still going to be going for the 11k iso store featured crystals to hopefully try to awaken him as well as try to get that five star gamora five star white mags and uh some other pulls as well so but super happy to finally have this guy at rank five we can test him out for some horseman fun but as you can see yeah don't have the if we had a mutant gem i'd probably awaken him right here but like i said we're just gonna go for those featured crystals the reduced rate to try to awaken him but that is not all we are going to be ranking up today, y'all. No, no, no. We also have another character we need to be ranking up for this level up event, and that is going to be our five star. Where is he? Did I pass him? Ah, yes, there he is. Five star Wolverine. Have the three to four 2017 gem from Variant, so surprise it'll rank up for this uh, nice little five star as well. And avert your gaze if. You don't like seeing wrong colored ISO being funneled into <laughs> the wrong class character. Like I said, uh, we ran out of mutant ISO pretty quickly for Apocalypse. So let's go over ahead and uh, jump over to the stash here. And uh, yeah, we're going to get some Mystic here because now that we have Apocalypse, we're really going to be going for Magic. Uh, that is going to be our next hunt. And so I anticipate us having to open a bunch of those crystals because we're not going to get magic uh, pretty early on, I would assume. That's just kind of how the luck works, right? How the RNG works. So we're going to funnel in all of these mutant uh, ISO bricks. And uh, uh, yeah, we can pump in these big ones too. That'll help us out some. Anyway, let's pump in this last little guy here. Let's get a little bit more. But yeah, we're going to be reusing those Mystic ISO just because we're probably going to be pulling lots of different Mystic characters and getting all that ISO back. So I'm not too worried about it. Let's get into this basic here. And almost there, level 51. Go back over to the stash. Get all the rest of this basic. And go on back. 53. Slowly but surely, y'all. Slowly but surely. Um, I'm definitely bringing this guy up to rank 5 soon, as soon as I can get some more Mutant ISO, as well as all of the Tier 2 Alpha, which I am also in need of. That drought has extended to me as well, but there you go. Rank 4, level 55. His PI is super low because he is an old, old, old character, but I am super excited to test him out as a horseman. Um, I did pump in, oop, not Howard, where are we looking at? There he is. Uh, I am uh, planning on funneling in all of my mutant gems into him. But anyway, look at this. Rank 2, rank 3, rank 4, rank 5, and rank 4 on the 5-star Wolverine. I just love that, looking at that. And look at everyone ranking up all their stuff. And oh my gosh, 5-star magic out of Cavalier. If we could be so lucky, y'all. But yeah, just wanted to take a look at that <laughs> real quick. But anyway, here we are in Realm of Legends. We've got the Cable Synergy for Apocalypse, so we can get all four of those uh, Persistent Charges off, to the off the first fight. And we're going to use that Horseman ability on Wolverine for a couple of these fights as well. But let's go ahead, take in Apocalypse here. Um, I'm somewhat familiar with his rotation. I know that you want to be launching the L1 for the weakness and then the L2 for the degen, and I think the L3 to make them all permanent. But already look at that, that burst damage, those, those red numbers, right? It's, you know, some people are all about those big yellow numbers, but Apocalypse has got those big, juicy 
red direct damage numbers, which, you know, you cannot scoff at. You know, we're going to go for these heavies here, just get some bleeds off. Try to take this Winter Soldier down in as little hits as possible. Just keep going for those heavies there. 29 hits, already down to about 66%, 65 now. Ooh, and look at that, just all that burst damage. 12k crit on one of those hits. Good lord, that is some beefy damage from Pac Daddy himself, as I like to call him. But there we go, we're just going to keep refreshing those debuffs, hit them with those heavies, get the bleeds on. And uh, once we hit the L3, we're probably not going to have much more um, left on this Winter Soldier. But just goes to show you just how powerful Apocalypse can be ranked up. Um, I would love a 6-star, however, I'm not going to be going for any 6-star features uh, as of right now. I have most of the 6-stars that I need. Um, to get me through certain content as much as I'd love a six-star apocalypse and, you know, six-star Kazi G. Um, we're, we're doing just fine, and there's plenty of uh, characters in the basic that we need. But anyway, back to apocalypse. He's going to walk over. He's going to stamp on you, squash you like a bug. His eyes are going to glow a little bit, and that took off 10%. Nice. And just like that, now just the debuffs take him down. And look at that. 63 hits. Not bad, not bad at all. That's actually on the lower end of uh, all the characters all the characters that I've tested in Realm of Legends, so pretty psyched about that. But let's go ahead, um, Horseman of Apocalypse there. We've got the four persistent charges. We can activate that, but uh, I don't know. Let's just go in with Apocalypse again and see how he fares against this Captain Marvel. I know we won't be able to get the poison off the L1, but hopefully we can still do pretty well here. Get a nice little heavy off. Another heavy, get some bleed action. We're running deep wounds at uh, three points out of five currently, so, you know, doing some decent damage with the bleeds. And look at that, those big, uh, what was that, about 1.5 base. Uh oh, getting a little bit hit there. 1.5 on the um, burst damage, so pretty cool. I love that, you know, it's based on the weakness and not off of, you know, the poison or the bleed or anything like that. That way you can work around any champions that might be, you know, bleed or poison immune. So, pretty sweet. Go for the L2 here. Ooh, ooh, and now look at that. 16 crit and 4,000 burst damage on each of those hits. Ooh, boy. Those are some good numbers, y'all. I'm loving it. And just that, <laughs> the power out of that heavy just feels so good. I don't know if anyone else has, ex has experienced just... How much fun it is to launch those heavies with Apocalypse. You know, his arm turns into that cannon and he just <laughs> bashes you around. Oh, it's so fun playing this guy. But yeah, 18 odd crystals trying to get this guy. But uh, so happy we have him now. And look at that. We got some nice crits off that L2. A couple of 15Ks, a 16K hit as well. We are running um, some critical rating masteries we got magneto and red cyclops for some more crit so nice to see those masteries or those synergies coming into play i wish you could get some critical bleeds off of that heavy but i think that would be a little bit too op for apocalypse here he does plenty of damage as it is but 50 hits although we did get hit a little bit in the beginning so probably it's going to be a little bit more that poison damage would probably be helping us out a lot here there we go. Look at that. Oh my gosh. 5,000 on the base, on the burst damage. I keep wanting to call it the base damage. Burst damage. 79 hits. Nice. Not bad at all. But let's go ahead. Let's keep going. Just because I'm having so much fun with Apocalypse. And uh, I think we're going to go ahead. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get Wolverine in here and test out some Horseman Wolverine. Now I don't have. Um, Wolverine all the way uh, sigged up. I think of this recording, he's at sig 60. Um, but I think what I was going to say earlier is that I am planning on putting all of my mutant uh, sig stones into Wolverine just to get him up higher and higher because he really does need that sig 200 to get the most out of his healing, which is, you know, what, you, what, what people have seen from a lot of those other videos of Horse and Wolverine and that crazy region. 
Um, luckily, we are still getting some nice regen. We got three on us right now. We got five bleeds, a couple crit bleeds on there. I'm just melting already. I'm super excited to take this guy up to rank five just to see how much more those bleeds can uh, can do. But doing well so far. Juggernaut is just an annoying fight because he's going to keep launching those specials and keep going unstoppable. Blah, blah, blah. Y'all already know. Nice little 12k crit on the L2 there. Last hit anyway. And look at that. That bleed damage just ticking away. It reminds me of playing Nick Fury a little bit, honestly. Just seeing all those bleeds do, you know, that much in such a short period of time. There we go. A couple parries. I mean, nice little regen here. We are kind of nerfing our region as we're throwing those specials though since our region is dependent on how much power we have but you know it's all about that damage baby so gotta keep slashing in the juggernaut here almost down 15 percent 85 hits probably would be a lot less if this guy was uh at rank five but not bad for a rank four okay and L2 action, couple crit bleeds, and is that going to do it? Okay, yeah. All right, so that was 95 hits. Okay, not bad. Under 100 for rank four. I say is nothing to nothing to sneeze at there. So let's go get against this Rhino. Wolverine is going to be, you know, ignoring a lot of that physical resistance that Rhino has because of those bleeds. So excited to see how well they do here. So already we got seven bleeds on him, a couple crit bleeds, and look at that, just ticking for 1250 and 900. Goodness, this is just, this is just nutty. Look at that, oh my goodness, just, <laughs> he's melting. Oh, it's so, it's so fun to see that with, with debuffs, when the opponent just like melts quicker than, you know, you can take him down with normal combos, it's just so fun to watch. You can just sit there, and you know drink a little iced tea or something and just watch them melt it's super fun dodging that l2 here let's go back in a couple five combos a couple crit bleeds and 61 hits down to 25 percent this is just it's just too much fun y'all i was like i felt like that one meme of uh of squidward looking out at spongebob and patrick while they're having fun outside. That's how I felt not having Apocalypse and <laughs> looking out at everyone trying out all the different horsemen um, in Realm of Legends and in other content. But now we can join them in the fun. And look at that. Took him down with the bleed. 87 hits. Just under 10 less than the last fight there. So let's go back in with Apocalypse just for some more fun. This was initially Apocalypse rank up in gameplay video, so let's go back in here with Big Pac Daddy. Ooh, and we are learning about that reach on that heavy. Okay, so there we go. We got it that time. We got a nice little reparry. Very nice. Have been getting pretty good with the reparries lately after that, especially after that second Path of the Abyss that I did a couple weeks ago. And, okay, miss, misjudge the parry or the, the heavy reach there, but there we go. Going to get the L1 off. Ooh, and look at that, 2.8k on the burst damage. Very nice, very nice, dodging those L1s. And super loving the, uh, the crit synergies for extra damage there. Helping us out a lot, I think. And oh, I just decided to take a little combo to the face. Maybe, yeah, maybe that was planned. Yeah, that was totally planned. I was showing you just how durable Apocalypse is. <laughs> but look at that, we got 64 6.4k on the burst damage. It's so crazy. So now I think we're going to try to get up to maybe an L3. I don't know. We'll see. I think we're doing more damage just launching the L2s. Right, let's dodge another L1. Thank you. And uh oh. That would have been risky there. Yeah, let's go for the L3. Let's get those debuffs permanently on Storm here. Going to grow in size. Got that perfect bonus damage. You know how we do it. Going to bring it down into the sand. We're going to walk on over and say, oh, hey, Storm. Are you a little bug? Squash. <laughs> and 
Now we've got all those debuffs on her, and they are going to stick. And okay, I think, okay, I'm learning about that stun into the block. I think we need the four charges to get the stun um, into their block, so I think that's why that's not been working for us there. Keep going, those heavies. Nice damage coming off of those debuffs, about just under 1.4 a tick. Adding on to the bleeds. Launching that L2, 6.7 uh, thousand damage on the burst. Woo! 77 hits. We did take <laughs> a couple combos to the face, but there it is, y'all. Super happy with Apocalypse and with Horse from Wolverine. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.